Marcus. Hi, I'm Jarrell. And I'm David. I am 34 years old. Good morning, booze. It's my birthday. Um, May 28th, we are in Aruba, headed, this is downtown. Like there's the cutest little shop, no, not downtown. This is Newark, the cutest little shopping area. I'm obsessed. And we are headed toward uh, today's activity. So the birthday activity is, um, we are going on a four hour brunch and a snorkel safari, which so excited. It's a Pelican Tours and it's going to be lunch. It's going to be brunch and we're going to three snorkel spots. So we are headed to the catamaran now on Pelican Pier. Um, last night, oh, last night the original casino that we went to uh, was closed. And so we had to get back in the car and then we went down to the one at the Marriott and basically Jarell and I lost $20 in 10 minutes and then we left. Actually, no, Alex did really well. Alex, like, he put in $20 and made it up to $100 and then made it down to $20, but then he cashed out. So he just had two hours of enjoyment and we had our booties handed to us by the casino and they laughed us out of the place and that's fine because we aren't all able. So it is, oh, time check. Oh my goodness, I'm not wearing a watch. I haven't worn a watch since I've been here. What time has it been? It is 8.33. The uh, boat leaves at nine, but they asked us to be here at 8.30. We have to sign some waiver saying that if we fall off this boat or whatever, that they're not liable. And that's about it. Take it all in, huh? Oh. <laughs> Taking you down, Pelican Pier. We haven't actually been down to the, I believe this over here is around, this is Palm Beach, basically. So, um, we haven't been to this beach down here. So I guess with this one, we've shown you every major beach. Eagle Beach, Palm Beach, and Baby Beach. Here we go. Yeah, this is where you do all the water sports. Octopus. What is that? What do you mean octopus? So Pelican Adventures. Sailing and snorkeling. Look at that. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Alright, we're gonna go sign in. We just checked in. Uh, when you come in, you basically just have to give your name if you've already made your reservations. It got super busy. I would say come when they tell you to because there was a big line and it takes a while if you haven't signed your waiver. But um, all the stuff they, look at all the stuff that they offer here. Like so many cruises, so many like, uh, I'll do it so you guys can pause. Ooh, the wind. Uh, so many rentals, I mean, speedboat, kite boarding, it's crazy. So, uh, this is going to be the boat that we are on, I believe. It's either this one or this one. So, yeah. Either way, because we are the first people on the boat today. Here? Or the back? Maybe on the, can we put on the nest? No. No, over there. Oh, on the back? We can. We are the first people on the boat here. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Nice. No, but it's good to be near the near the front because then that's because when they let you out on the net, that's a good time. So here we are we're on the catamaran. It's gorgeous. It's sunny. Oh, let me put on my shirt. Here we go, guys. We're pulling away, of course, boo. Of course, after a few drinks, we're walking in the bathroom. On this side, we have the ladies. 
It's official. Going away. They're raising the sales, guys. And soon, so we're allowed to go up front soon, and they're gonna open the bar. It's eight people in the net up front on each side. Ooh. Are you having deja vu? Because you're on the catamaran again. Yes, it's the same spot. It's I don't the know if it's the same spot. spot. No, but. literally, it's the exact same spot as Barbados. I know, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so excited to be headed out into the ocean. Look at that. Come on. Oh. First drink are rum punches today. Rum punch today. Cheers. Cheers! It's my birthday! <laughs> no, there is breakfast, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think we haven't even had a bite of food yet. I know, we literally haven't even had a bite of food yet. Th this is the first thing we're drinking today. <laughs> oh. Mm. You know what's interesting? A big difference between Barbados and this one was you weren't allowed to drink until after you snorkeled in Barbados. Here? It's very like, what could happen? We got breakfast. Trees, a, a muffin, a croissant. Croissant. <laughs> Boo, hopefully you can see, but there is the lighthouse. There, can we see that? Ah, we, one of the things we hadn't done is seen the lighthouse, but right there, you guys can see it. Um, I think the first stop is a shallow reef, so we're gonna see what that gives. Oh, um, brunch was like a continental breakfast, yeah. and it was yeah, it was pastries, yeah. cakes, basically good. Ooh, yikes! It was good. Basically like carbs in a box, but it was good. It was good. It was tasty. Oh yeah, like we are in our snorkeling gear. Yeah. They, we have this, we have our whistle. Um, they have fins, they have larger fins. These are larger fins. They go up to a size 13, they're adjustable. And there are smaller fins over there. And then we have the snorkel equipment over here. So, we're also, awesome. hey. Snorkel before? Uh, yes. Thank you so much. All right, so we got a fluid glass. Put them, put some liquid in your cups from uh. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, what? Like, that liquid's so. <laughs> 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 this is what we're walking up and keeps it cool. Lights are clean, so make sure you guys uh, add a little uh, dawn. Talk to me. Guys, if you got the fins already, I'm gonna open this lamp to you. Okay. It's more sure for you because if you have to walk all the way there. Are we able to wear them to, to jump? Sorry? Can we wear them to jump right there? Uh, yes, but you, then you gotta put it just before you get in. Just before we get in. Okay, got it. Okay, perfect. Otherwise, you can just use the leather over here, and then you just go to the front. Oh, okay. No, let's jump. Yeah, we're gonna say, we're gonna just jump. So, just to move back. Uh huh. Here you go. Alright, bye. Holding us up with one hand on that rope. That is crazy. There's Jarrell. Oh, big boy, that's Oh, <laughs> 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 
Look at that I feel like if I lived in an island, I would have fun doing this. I'd work on a boat. All right. He is about to jump. Go ahead. There he is. Oh. Front flip. You're supposed to go with your speed pad. And there he is. I'm going to throw it to you. Here it comes. <laughs> So I just did the front flip off the, the boat and we are gonna, I think, swim to that beach. Jarrell is on the uh, boat drinking. <laughs> but I'm taking you with me. Let's go. Made it to the island. <laughs> Alex is swimming up. I don't know where Jarrell is. Probably on the boat somewhere. But, well, island. Well, actually, yes, made it to the island. But we were swimming over to the beach. <sighs> it's beautiful here. <laughs> you gotta float up all shallow because it's all all rock. Float up on your stomach. <laughs> look at all these rocks. They all they're beautiful rocks. They look like they were tumbled. And um, our TV has like an information Aruba situation uh, channel and um, <laughs> information situation. And they were saying these are all volcanic, which totally makes sense because there's a lot of black rock that is naturally smooth, which makes you think of being a small elementary gay boy who was asking my mother for a rock tumbler so that I could make my own jewelry. I mean, if she didn't know then. All of the different rocks. And these are just like ones you pull, you just pulled out. Like he went into there and pulled out. Also, look at that brain coral that yeah. washed up too. That's really cool. You usually don't I'm have gonna, to go. I'm gonna take them. I don't think you can. Why? Does, uh, does. That little spot in the water there, that's Jarrell slowly making his way over here. We used, to, we used to grab them from the rock. It's a little slow. And cook them with rice. And cook them with rice? Yeah. They have something in, in my, where I'm from called coquina. And they're like little things, but do you see that? I was looking, I was like, this, I almost picked it up and I was like, this shell is moving. But, yeah, no. Don't I missed that. it. Jarrell came oh, and he, he literally rock. fell straight that's backwards. Very he very fell. Fun. I wish I would have caught it on camera. Um, Everyone was saying it was such a workout to get, but I didn't have that much of a... I'm also a very strong swimmer. I will say that. I'm a strong swimmer, if nothing else. But, um, yeah, everyone is out snorkeling. So, this is normally the last stop, but um, the shipwreck stop, which is usually the second stop, is so full that they decided to do the last stop second. Which I appreciate because I don't want to be out there with like a ton of people. So yeah. here's some place. There is like hundreds of fish, so we're gonna see. I'm in a circle of fish. Look. Drink 
drinks are flowing and everyone is literally in line just dancing. Like the party is going. We just got to the shipwreck. Oh yeah. Everyone is having a great time. Also the Caribbean, Long Island IT and everything. So we just got to the shipwreck. I can only film 30 seconds before the copyright goes, so. So they all survived. all made it. Uh, for the first part of the war, there were tents of one air for Christmas camp with Ocean View and everything on the beach. Right now it's considered a resort, no joke, no story. <laughs> and then they had to go to the second part of the war, they had to go down to Jamaica. They wanted to change the culture a little bit, check out the rest of the see how they live down there. And then after the war was over, they had a very, very important decision to make. Go back to the country of Germany or stay in the Caribbean. Guess what they did? Stay in the Caribbean. Or drink the coladas, date the local girls, talk with my money. This is the moment we've been waiting for. This is the shipwreck. You can only see the shipwreck on National Geographic or on television. But we are going to bring it to you because you're our booze and we love you and we love taking you on all of our world adventures. So, just a quick reminder, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click like. We love you and we're about to see a shipwreck. <laughs> like a steel shipwreck in the middle of you. I just got the water at the shipwreck. I haven't really seen anything yet, but I can see like a tiny glint. And the ship is huge. Like, I showed you a ship in uh Barbados, but this was, that was not a ship. This is an actual ship. Like, I'm so excited to show you that. Look, at you're all over here. So you should be a strong swimmer. I uh, swim over here, Jarrell. It's taking him a while to get over here. And he's a pretty strong swimmer. Uh, so yeah. All right, let's try to go down a little bit, okay? Yeah, it's a very strong turn. Listen, this one, this one is trying to come back to the boat. No, it wasn't. This one. Once in a lifetime. I was pushed by the water. No, that's why you got to fight the current. I can't put it on. I can't put it on. Okay. So, Please. This helps because it's a uh, float. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah. Come on. Come on. Jarrell is struggling to get here. The current is serious. So, you got to be careful. Here he comes. He's got it. The white buoy is the goal. Well, he's making it. He's making it. The problem is, if you even stop for a second to eat, the current will take you away. Like, look, he's by the boat. Come on, babe! It's 
really hard. It really is. Like Alex got out. He was like, I can't take the turn. Come on! And I've been holding a rope. Jarrell can make it to me. I can hold him. I'm so proud of Jarrell. Look at him. 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 He's making it. He's making it. Come on, babe. Come here. Ah! You made it. Hold the rope. <laughs> Wait. Guys, I am so proud of you, Ralph. <laughs> you tired? I am. It's very tiring. You hold the rope, I'm good. <laughs> so the rope will keep, well, this will keep you up, but the rope will keep you out. <laughs> the good thing is, so we have a guy out here, and she has a life, a life raft, and there's actually people even farther out. So the good thing is that, like you see, I've been like, I stopped fishing for two seconds, and look how far I am from the rope. That's the current. But, again, I can come back to him. And let's give you guys, let's give you guys the, the view of the ship from where that is. Because that's like the awesome ultimate place. This is your actual birthday. <laughs> okay. Oh, she knows. Oh, 
my gosh. Listen, I'll, listen, these, uh, the boat crew were getting all the numbers. Like, they were just like, they, they saw who they were interested in on the ship and they got numbers. I'm not mad at them.